Okay, so hello, my name is Darren and uh, I am the co-founder of Etcher and I also designed the products that we're going to be looking at today. So obviously we have the two products um, and you probably should have gotten them by now. Uh, we've got the fuel case, which some of you might not have known about. Uh, we'll go through that and we've also got the Etcher satchel, right? Mine's looking very thick right now, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in there and I'll go through what we've got in there. Okay, so this is the Etcher Field uh, field case and it's actually something that I actually quite like. Um, so uh, what it is, is that it is a weatherproof, um, uh, basically think of it as a uh, pencil case on steroids. Um, it is it's got a shell material that's made of polyester and we're still deliberating on whether um, it's got the same material as the Etcher uh, art satchel. Um, we're still deliberating on the final um, shell material. The shell material is just this material that covers most of the, um, most of the bags on this thing. Um, the polyester we actually quite like. It's got a little different sheen to it that um, you know, a lot of people might not be used to. But the reason it's got that sheen is because it's actually it's actually a, a, a waterproof material. Um, the material itself is waterproof, so if you get water on it, it's not going inside. Um, you know, we can't actually say that this is waterproof; it's weatherproof uh, because when you stitch things together, you basically create micro uh, punctures in the material, so it can't be considered waterproof. Um, it's just a, a technicality, but uh, it'll keep most of your things very very dry. Okay. So on the outside, you've got along the spine here, you've got uh, this material called Tough Tech. It's, um, it's a very strong, um, uh, non-slip uh, material that is is waterproof as well. The zips on the outside, these uh, YKK uh, water-resistant zips as well. So they're you know, some of the best zips in the world, basically. On the back, you'll see that we've got these these things here. Right? Now, I'll show you what they, they use for a little bit later. Um, it's used to interface with, um, with our art uh, satchel. Okay, so now we've got also these, these pulleys. I'm actually not very happy with them. Uh, we tested out a new design and what it's... You know, the functionality is actually good. Uh, I want to be able to take these tabs off. Um, without it being non-destructive. So you can take them off and replace it with something else because I know a lot of people like to customize their product. Um, so I would, you know, I wanted to let people do that. But the way that these look, I mean, look at that, that looks a little bit iffy. It looks kind of small and silly. So I'm going to replace them. I'm going to be, um, uh, for the final production, we're going to be getting rid of them. But, you know, if you want to let your uh, the people that are going to be following you know that these are not actually going to be the right ones, so I'm just going to throw them over. I'll actually show you what they will more likely end up with. So this is an earlier prototype, and you can see there, if you can see there, these poles, yep. These are actually quite good, um, but the, it, the issue is that they have to be stitched on. So if you want to remove them and replace them with something of your own, um, it's destructive. You have to cut it off and you won't be able to put them back on. Okay, But I actually quite like these pulls. Um, so the production version will probably be more like these. Back to this product. Uh, you can see I've got my mobile phone uh, in the front pocket. Okay, um, This is not just a design thing. It's not purely for just looks. It's actually a variable depth pocket. Okay, so the, the reason why it's like that is because um, uh, I use this as a little carry-all bag. Um, personally, I, I love it. I designed it initially and I thought I wouldn't get that much use out of it, but I actually really enjoy using this, uh, especially on city commutes. It kind of packs in my man bag. So you get uh, one of these little straps with it, so you don't have to carry it everywhere. Okay? If you look on the spine, along the sides, you can see these two loops. Yep. So these will basically just hook straight on. Just like so. Yep. Like that. So uh, when I'm going on public transport, this is actually really good because, uh, because of the variable depth. 
um, we have a touch system here in Australia, so we've got these um, transit cards. So I slip that in there. You can see it's just tall enough so that you can fit your finger in there without having to slide it all the way in. So you can just have it right there. And then I usually have my phone here as well. Now some people wonder whether it's going to fall out. It's actually a pretty tight pocket. Yeah, so that's not that's not coming out anytime soon. And how I how I would go on the um, you know, when I'm on the train. Oops, actually has to be upside down. And then I'll have these headphones on. Obviously, headphones on, and it's great because uh, I'll basically be like this. And to get through the gates, I would just scan this, just hold it up to the scanner, and then I'm away. So, it's pretty useful, I actually quite like it. Zip these open, and the inside looks like this. Okay, so everything is not going to fall out, and everything is, you know, you can, um, you can go pretty nuts with it. Uh, there's two two rows of these bands, so you can stack a lot of stuff in there. And the material itself is a little bit stretchy, so you can actually pack it out and squeeze it shut and pull it closed. Okay, so in here, I'll just quickly run through what we've got. We've got these long pockets here. See this, um, there's a pocket in the top. You can see that. Uh, this is long enough to fit your, um, say if you're going on a flight, you've got your flight tickets, you can put your flight tickets in here, the entire thing. Uh, you can put your, um, your passport in there, like I have. So, I've got, here. flight ticket, old flight ticket. I've got my passport, passport, okay. So I've used this recently on a flight where if you're waiting at the gate, uh, you're getting ready to board the plane, you can basically have that here as well for quick access. Yep, like that. And basically you don't have to hold your, um, you know, your, uh, your ticket. Okay, so also the sketchbook. You put that in the front. In case you want a quick sketch, you see something you want and you can take it out and sketch. Um, this is actually kind of cool because I actually can use this as a little mini table as well. So if you want to, um, you can see there as well, nothing drops out. You can actually use it as a mini table to, um, to, to sketch stuff. Yeah, just have to hold it up a little bit and that stops you. you know, it acts like a mini uh, etcher art satchel. Okay. And then when you're finished, you just slot it away. Just chuck your pencil in there if you want. And you can get out of there. Yeah, so it's a quick draw sketch. Okay, on the inside, now, there's a, um, a spine um, holder. You can put your uh, different smudges. Oh, I've got my smudges in there. You can put, obviously, your whatever tools you want. Uh, you've got these things, which are like stretchable puppets. Okay, so you can see here they can actually stretch out quite a bit. Uh, I can put my um, my battery pack in here, as well as my charging cable. And uh, quite often, if it and, and if it rains, um, you can basically put that in here as well. Yep. So that would be charging in there. You can hook that up from there to there, and then you can have it charging while it's raining, which is pretty cool. Take that out. Uh, these stretchable pockets can also act as, they've also been designed to act as, um, as tip savers. So I've got my pencil here. Yep. So if you've sharpened that and you want that to be nice and safe, just slide it straight in and it's not going to be jumping against, uh, it's not going to be rubbing against anything and destroying your tip. Uh, what else? There's uh, these elastics are really strong. They're um, they're very high tensile elastics, so they're going to last a long time. There's two rows of them, so there's one skinny one in front and a bigger one behind. Okay, so uh, the reasoning for that is that it just allows you to double stack your uh, your tools if you need. Okay, so you've got say some tools in front. 
Let me see, you can put some behind as well. Yep, like that. So it just, it just allows you to carry more, obviously. And then again, it's, uh, it will stretch quite significantly, so you just hold it closed. And you can, and you're off. You know, everything inside is secured from the elements. Okay. On the other side, there's another deep pocket all the way down uh, that can be unzipped. You can put your, you can put coins and whatever else in there. It's got a slightly stretchy material, so you can kind of reach in and grab it. Uh, there's also a little uh, loop up here. I'm not sure if you can see that. No, you can see that. There's a little loop up there. And you can use that to hook on your keys if you really wanted to as well. Okay, so that's that product. So this is the obviously the one that many of you have come for, and you're going to be showing the world. So thank you for that. You can obviously see that this is pretty packed out at the moment. I've got a lot of stuff in here, and I just wanted to show you um, uh, what we have. Okay, so obviously we've got it there. That's a quick access pocket. If you've got your phone, wallet, keys, a bit of a stretch, but you can pack them all in like that. Um, it's bulging out a little bit because there's so much stuff in there at the moment. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff in there at the moment. So, but yeah, it's useful when you need to access some of your things. The other thing that was in here that I didn't mention, so I've got a mole skin in here as well. So if you need to quick draw anything, whip that out. So obviously I've got this set up in um, with a sling mode at the moment, so it uh, changes this into a uh, into a messenger bag. Um, but you can, as a lot of you already know, there's a four points. Four D-rings, okay. And we're going to change this to a backpack. So just unclip one of the top, the top one, okay. And then rip the middle part and fit that in. Fit that in. Loosen these a little bit. And we've got it in backpack mode. And the reason why uh, we created this was there was a number of reasons why. Well, firstly, you can just carry it all, obviously, in an alternative uh, method, but um, uh, compared to the original Nomad, which you could only carry in the sling, um, this offers you a little bit more um, options to kind of go out to different places to sketch. Uh, yeah. when, you, uh, when, when, you have a when you have it in messenger mode, um, obviously there's asymmetrical um, forces pulling. So if you have it packed out like I have right now and you had it in messenger mode, you'd find that it's actually quite uncomfortable to walk after you know a, a couple of uh, kilometers or miles. Um, so we want to be able to allow people to pack this out but um, also have it in backpack mode because that spreads the load a little bit more evenly. Okay, so you can sort of see here. Yep. I'm not going to put it on properly, but yeah, you can sort of see there. Now, the pockets on the side, you can see that they are, that there's extra material here. Now, the reason why I wanted to add that was to increase the weather protection, okay? Which is fine if you're carrying like this, the water's just going to go straight down. But in a lot of messenger bags, you'll see that there's a bit of a, a, a gap here. And if you have it in backpack mode, obviously the rain, if it rains, it's just going to go straight in. So the reason, you know, it's, a, it's basically like a mini roll top. It, the, extra, the extra material bunches up and stops the liquid from sort of getting inside there. Okay, so now I'll open this up. I've got the two um, tension hooks, okay, and there's extra material here. And I'll show you what that's for in a second, but I'm going to show you what's in here first. Okay, open the lid, and this is this cross here. This is tough tech, so it's um it's a non-slip, highly uh, it's a very very strong material, uh, which means it's going to last for a fair while. Okay, 
Now these are tough tech strips as well. You can see there's two conduits here. So you can see that. Yep. There's two holes in here. I'll show you what they're there for in a second. Uh, across the front, across the front, you can see that there's molly strapping. This is uh, designated, um, I think, military designation, uh, one inch spaces and there's certain width apart which means that you can use this front part, this front section uh, to add a lot of modif you know, um, molly bags for instance. I'll show you right now. So these are aftermarket. Um, you can just go into, you know, there's a lot of military stores for instance where uh, they use uh, molly as well. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to add some extra pouches for, I don't know, uh, more art materials or some new tools. This is a nice way to kind of do it. And uh, the reason why I had them uh, concealed underneath the flap was because I love the functionality of Molly, but I don't particularly like um, well, I wanted to minimize the military look for our products. So that's one. Take one there. One there. Still see there. It's, it's not going to be coming off. Okay. But then that will flip over. And, you know, you've got an additional pocket there for you to use. Okay, so. Uh, this is one of the areas where the Etcher uh, field case can actually slide onto. Okay, that's what that's for. So there. zips here on the sides for easier access obviously if you are uh, in satchel mode just um, put your hand in but if you were to pack the inside out you'd want to be able to get in there and uh, manage your inventory a little bit better okay, so if you want to do that you've got um, I've actually got my gimbal in here. This is actually something that's quite difficult to transport because of its awkward size, but um, it does pretty well in this in this front pocket. You can see there, it's in there. Get that out for now. Okay. So in the front flap, we've got a netting uh, a netting uh, pocket, so that you can actually see what's in there. Um, I've pulled out the internals, so it's a nice and big area already. Okay. Now one of the um, one of the things that was leveled, one of the criticisms leveled at the original Nomad was that the front pockets couldn't really hold all that much. So uh, with this one, we wanted to create something that would be able to expand quite significantly. You can actually see that if you don't need the front pocket, it compresses pretty much flat. Okay, but if you do actually need a little bit of extra space. Um, it can, it can, um, it can push out quite far. Okay, so you can see there. You've seen the accordion style stitching, so that can push out. Uh, just as a demonstration, you know, we can take the original Nomad. Actually, fit it all the way in there. And that will close quite nice. I wanted to show you something that's quite. This is one of the larger books that I have. It weighs a ton. I can't actually hold it up properly. I'm just holding it with one hand. Uh, and it's very difficult to transport in um, normal bags. Uh, I don't think I can actually fit this in any of my um, uh, other larger uh, bags, unfortunately. So I have to carry this around with me. And it's a, it's a pain in the butt to do so. Okay, but this will actually fit right here. You can see it's pushed out quite significantly and it's still able to close. Okay. That's what all this extra material is for. For these 
tension hooks. I'm going to push them down a little bit and you can pull them. You can elongate these. Strap them on. <clears throat> so you can see there, it's aero. That's a pretty massive thing. Pretty big book. And you can still wear it as a backpack. Okay. To give you an idea of its flexibility, uh, I've got my Mavic drone here. That's able to fit in quite easily. I'm going to fit right in there. Controllable. Obviously, you're not going to put them in like this. You probably want to wrap them up in some material or something, but you're able to stick that in there. Um, you can still fit one of these in here as well. So you can see there's quite a lot of storage space in there. Yeah. Okay. Turn that up. I was able to fit my paintball mask in there as well. So if you ever want to go paintballing after doing your artwork, you can see it's a very awkward size, but um, strap hooks are still able to attach up. Yeah, so that just shows you a little bit of what you can kind of carry. Um, now, if there's any photographers out there, now this is obviously isn't a photo photography bag, uh, but you are able to fit quite a lot in here. Uh, I have these two, two of my cameras, uh, both 7Ds, and this is a 7200, and <coughs> this one, <coughs> 1635, so they're relatively large lenses. And obviously, you wouldn't want to just put them in there again, but. Um, Basically put them both in. Okay. So you see there? Both sitting in there. You want to wrap them up with some material so that they didn't bang against each other. But if you were in a pinch, uh, you'd be able to hold them home like this. Pretty, but it does the job. Okay. Okay. One of the next things that I wanted to show is uh, something that we call the llama mode. We use this flap quite significantly to be able to carry things. Uh, a llama is a pack animal, so it's able to carry a, a lot of load on its back, and that's kind of where we got the name of this from. Okay. So we wanted to be able to carry stuff uh, under this, which is why. We ruggedized it with this non-slip material, plus these non-strip slips. You have a painting box, something like this. You can actually put it on there and carry it around. Strap like that. Okay. And then you're able to haul your stuff around. But obviously, if, you'll be, if you're going to be carrying it as a backpack, having it this way means that there's a likelihood that this could slip out the bottom. Okay, so how we're going to get past that is that we're going to, this is where these are really important. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be using this super often, but it's nice to have that functionality if, uh, if the need calls for it. So what I'm going to do is unravel all that. So. You know, it's got its full length. Pull the G hook right up here. With the tension hook. Okay. I'm going to take this and slide it through the uh, conduit. You can see that. Yeah, there's a conduit at the bottom of the loop. We're inside of the um, inside of the flap. Okay. So that's going to go through. That is going to come and attach. some of this. Okay, so now uh, if this was to push out that way, it would be stopped by that strap. Okay, so now, there we go. That's not going to be 
before and now any time soon. Okay, so it can be used to hold stuff. things that are quite useful uh, are these. <coughs> you would have got these straps in the back, in the bag, as it came. <coughs> it's a very simple design, but I'll show you how useful they are. I'm going to attach my tripod to this as well. things that we wanted to do with this was to allow it to uh, function as a laptop bag as well. Okay. Um, you can see here, got this set up. Here's my <coughs> my um, uh, my MacBook Pro, and got the caddy that came with your bag, probably in the front. Uh, got your know, iPad here, my iPad, uh, my pencil in here, and. Cintiq, uh, no, not a Cintiq, an Intuos 4, that fits right in, and these actually flip over, okay, so if you're trying to get anything in there, um, it's a, it can be a little bit tight depending on what you put in there, but uh, for easier access, this has been designed almost as a, uh, you know, as a security feature, so that if this was to be turned upside down, it's just not going to kind of slip out, and also fit laptop in there obviously yeah, so that fits in nicely flip these back over and you can sort of see there okay so this uh, this caddy obviously did not come in here in yours um, I've just put it in there so that it can be a bit more like a, a proper laptop bag um, but that's one of the things that I really wanted to design was to have a certain um, amount of modularity with all the components uh, in this bag. So obviously, you know, these already. These are kind of like the secret source uh, of our product. They're obviously remo removable tabs so that you can use this in a number of different ways. Um, now just having a look, obviously on the back is Velcro so that allows that to be repositionable anywhere on here. Uh, and there are two bands. Now the reason I use two bands is for extra strength. Okay. Uh, for instance, you saw uh, originally I had my laptop in there, and um, because I didn't want that to be going anywhere, and it's a relatively heavy object, I would use two bands to kind of keep that in place. But if it's something, um, uh, for instance, just uh, field notes, um, you can also use that in here. Okay. So if you want to. What you would do is you would measure where it's going to be and have a look. So that's the corners. Let's slip that in there. And slip that in there as well. Okay, so that's how that's sort of held in place. Now other things that you can do uh, with this, you 
you can <clears throat> you can uh, use these to you know, actually we'll just point it out as well. You can see that these stitch lines uh, on the inside these help to guide where exactly you can put these. So one there. I'm going to measure for across here as well. that was prepared a little earlier. Okay, so I've got my sketchbook. I'm going to use a single strap for that because my sketchbook obviously isn't uh, isn't very heavy. Okay, and there you go. Got that ready to go. So you've got that one. Uh, this is a spiral bound, so obviously you can fold it in on itself. Um, and I tend to find they work pretty well with this. You can also fit an iPad Pro. That's roughly the same size as this. So you can pretty much use exactly the same measurements. Um, and the good thing with these is that you, it doesn't actually replace any um, uh, any covers that you have, and it works with a fairly wide variety of covers. So I've got mine here. It's a very minimalistic one. Um, Okay, I'll sort of see there. This sits quite nicely. It's not going to be falling out anytime soon. Okay, so I'm going to also show you uh, some of how I arranged my tools in here. So these are obviously, you know, you can reposition them however you want. Uh, I've got, again, they've got two levels of bands. I've got band one on top for tools and then the other one behind for, you can see here I've got, I've, uh, I've stacked it. We've got pencils in front. We've also got um, uh, French curves behind as well. So your carry ability kind of increases a little bit. Okay. Uh, these bands have been stitched uh, to the Molly specification as well. Okay, so it depends on how you want to have it. You can have it this way or this way. Um, put that there. I've got little pouches. Yeah, I've got a pouch here that I've got just random tools in, and this is actually a thicker piece, so that will slot in here. Okay, so you've got internals like that. Okay. Okay. So there's just a greater level of uh, internal organization that you can have with these um, with these straps. Okay. Now here are some uh, some people get a bit confused as to what these little springy things are. Uh, I just wanted to show you how they're used. Okay, so now I actually use this way. You have to, have to fold them in, you know, the Velcro out, and they kind of sit like this. Okay, and um, it's used to hold books open. Obviously, you can find lots of different uses for them as well. In this example, you can see it right there. Okay, so this is a little moleskin. Uh, and it goes across the spine so that it doesn't kind of pull away. You can see it's very secure now. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I've set this up. Uh, you can see here in the back plate. Um, this is a quick release plate from a tripod. Okay, so um, that's just gonna. So we're gonna put it in there nice and tight. And now this is gonna interface in with the um, tripod. the um, 
safety clip. Okay. And that's how it's supposed to work, right? These, those, um, these things were supposed to, to to replace these prototypes, but um, unfortunately, as I said, they don't work, so don't use yours just yet. But this is essentially where we want to be going with this thing. You can see it's pretty, it's actually pretty stable. You know, you can put your um, uh, if you have your watercolors, you can put your watercolors in here, and you can basically you know, paint if you want to. Um, but unfortunately, as I said, it doesn't work. But we'll get our replacements to you as soon as possible. Okay, so we've got this uh, set up. We've got the uh, safety buckle in, okay, so that you don't accidentally open it. You can unclip that, and you can see you can see that you've got access to your tools here. Your uh, you know whatever you're going to be sketching on could be a piece of paper or. Or, uh, or digital, and um, we've got all your tools. Okay. Your uh, satchel also sh uh, shipped with these, okay. and basically sits on top of your tools if you want to secure it. And this is obviously optional, you can pull it off, uh, you don't need to have it on there, um, but it's just an extra, extra insurance if you don't want your stuff to kind of spill everywhere. <clears throat> the other mode that we um, have is the supported mode, okay? and for that you need to change your strap back into the um, single strap mode. So in order for you to use the supported mode, you need to have this um, as a single strap, okay? and the easiest way. So you take it off, if you're a left-hander, you face this towards your body and it's the left side that you'd be changing. Okay, so you take it from here, clip it, clip it down, so basically the opposing D-rings. Okay, now I'm going to unzip the bag, okay, it's going to flip over on itself. And this clip, these two clips, can come together, hold it together, and pull it a bit tighter. Right. Now, okay, and the clip is going to be facing towards yourself. Okay. So it's like this. Roll this in a little bit. Under. Okay, so I'm right-handed. My right hand should be free to kind of move around. It's going to go across the top of my left shoulder and come under my right arm. Okay, so it doesn't um, block any of my movements. Okay. So that's a little bit long for me. So I'm just going to do that a bit, and then you can see that you can pretty much walk around with this. Uh, with my hands. Yep. So. Yeah. I would generally br brace it by holding onto this, um, this here and just kind of sketch there. Okay? So, hopefully, you can have fun with that. So when you are, so when you are um, uh, in supported mode, the good thing uh, uh, that allows a bit more flexibility is that you can actually use it to stand and sketch, and sort of move around. Okay, but you can also use it when you're sitting down. Um, I found that when I'm sketching on, say, iPad Pro uh, on my couch, it still gives me a bit of arm fatigue. So I have to rest it on something. Um, if you have your Procreate in here. You can be sketching and then you can also sit on the couch. 
So you don't have to rest it across your knee or on a pillow or anything like that. Okay. On the back, you can actually see here there's a bit of a conduit. Yeah. So this is um, to, to allow you know the air to breathe a little bit more behind your back. But also, if you have luggage, this will sit right on top of uh, the carry handle. So you can sling that right in. Um, there's also a plate in the back. So if you uh, that's the tripod attachment plate. If you don't actually need that, you can just kind of take it out. Um, there's a zip in there, and you can sort of see. Hopefully, you can sort of see in there. You can just slip this out if you don't need it. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of an idea of the different functionalities that you can do, uh, that you can undertake with the bag. Um, and obviously it's quite a complex bag, so if there's anything that you're not sure about or something that doesn't seem um, you know, intuitive, feel free to get in touch with us and uh, I'll try to get um, back to you as quickly as possible to uh, help you with your, you know, your reviews and um, sharing with your, with your followers. So uh, thanks very much for doing this. Uh, we really appreciate it. Sorry for the... Um, and very non-structured video, uh, just felt like I needed to get this out to you as quickly as possible. Okay, cool. Thank you very much.